Hi, I'm Harish Polani, Oregon's representative at this year's National Geographic Bee. There are many things to do in my hometown of Portland. In the city, you can visit Palace City of Books, the world's largest bookstore. You can also visit Millands Park, the world's smallest park, just two feet in diameter. If you're in search for a souvenir, you can visit the Saturday Market. Outside of the city, you can visit Crater Lake, the deepest lake in the U.S. and Oregon's only national park. You can also visit Mount Hood, Oregon's tallest mountain, and the Big Scree Resort. Another place to visit is Multnomah Falls, the tallest waterfall in Oregon and one of the tallest year-round falls in the U.S. As I said earlier, Powell City of Books in downtown Portland is the world's largest bookstore. 68,000 square feet packed with books. You can find more than 1 million volumes on the shelves, all sorted out into 122 major subject areas and more than 3,500 subsections. Approximately 3,000 people walk in and buy something every day. Another 3,000 people just browse and drink coffee. 80,000 book lovers browse the city shelves every day in Portland and via the internet. Portland's food carts are one of its most iconic symbols. Over 700 of them are located in the Portland area. If you're looking for a certain type of food, you'll find it here. On a side note, if you're a Rick Riordan fan, you might remember that the food carts came up in a scene in The Son of Neptune. Voodoo Donuts in downtown Portland was ranked one of the best donut shops in America by Yahoo Travel. If you're looking for a regular donut, this isn't the best choice for you. Voodoo Donuts serve some of the wackiest flavors around. Completed in 2000, these gardens, roughly 40,000 square feet in size, occupy a full city block in the Chinatown area of downtown Portland. Located right across the road from the International Rose Test Gardens, Portland's Japanese gardens are considered one of the world's most authentic Japanese gardens outside of Japan. Home to over 7,000 types of roses, the International Rose Test Gardens are the oldest operating public rose test garden in the United States. Various types of roses are tested. The good ones are kept for sale, while the bad ones are destroyed. Here are some more things to do in the Portland area. I would trade places with the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen, one of the most accomplished polar explorers of all time. His respectable career began when he became the first person to traverse the Northwest Passage from 1903 to 1906. After that, he set his mind on the poles. In December of 1911, he beat Robert Scott's Antarctic expedition and became the first man to reach the South Pole. After taking a break for just over a decade, he became the first person to undisputably reach the North Pole in 1926. He disappeared in 1928 while taking part in a rescue mission, but is still known as one of the greatest explorers of all time. There are many places I hope to visit someday, but Peru talked to us. Ever since I read about how Hiram Bingham discovered it in 1911, Machu Picchu was fascinating. Just southwest of Machu Picchu are the Nazca Lines, another amazing destination. These lines in the middle of the Nazca Desert are one of the world's greatest mysteries and it would be interesting to explore. I don't really have any secrets, but one thing I have to say is that you should always enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy geography, you'll feel like you're forcing yourself to do something you don't want to do when you're studying. If I were put in charge of the earth for, the, for a day, the first issue I would try to tackle is lack of food and drinking water. These issues are connected and they can be helped in many ways. My solution? Ration food and water so there are no empty stomachs. Ulanbuir, located in the Inner Mongolia region of northeastern China, is the world's largest city by area. An astounding 101,913 square miles if it were a country, it would be 74th largest in the world. Hopefully, I can get a future job related to geography. I want to work with Google Earth or Google Maps, as I'm interested in both geography and technology. Hey Nat Geo, did you know? What's the world's shortest river?
dumped? The world's shortest river is the D River, and it's located right here in my home state of Oregon. Hope you all enjoyed watching my video. See you in DC.